Welcome to the 2021 Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. In this video, I'm going to give you a full tour of opening weekend, both mass ascensions, both Saturday and Sunday. Be sure to stick around to the end. I've got some pro tips and some beautiful imagery that you are not going to want to miss. Morning guys, it is day one of the balloon fiesta. I left my house at 4.45 a.m. I recommended that people leave at 4.30. Traffic is all backed up to every direction. So it's been nearly 30 minutes and I'm still sitting in roughly the same spot. I woefully misjudged the time that you need to leave. I told everybody in my video that they need to leave early uh, by 4.30. Um, I'm gonna say you need to leave by four. Now I have heard that opening day, the traffic is worse. Day one balloon fiesta. Yay! All right, folks, it is 6.37 a.m. I'm still in traffic. Holy crap, I finally made it to a parking space. Uh, so it is still about 15 minutes to seven, about 6.45 a.m. I am way in the back of the parking lot. And as I pulled in, just a couple things to note. Uh, parking was $20 cash only. And you know, they tell you that like right as you pull up. Uh, and then once you pull into the parking, they give you two options. There's actually a free shuttle from, because the parking lot is so far away. If you wanna take the free shuttle, you can do that or you can park and walk, which is the option I'm taking. Fly over. Oh, they're not jets, but they're planes. Rainbow Riders is the official company that gives balloon rides here at the Balloon Fiesta. There's a whole cluster of Rainbow Riders right here behind me. So the balloons make lines across the field and then they kind of go a line of balloons and then they lift off in a line to kind of have an orderly fashion to how the balloons lift off. The first line of balloons is ready to lift off. I already took my coat off. That's like never happens. Okay, day one was a success. It's about 8.45. Things are kind of wrapping up. The majority of the balloons have already lifted off. My daughter has a track meet today, so I am leaving the balloon fiesta. Tomorrow I will be back and I will be here earlier. There are lots of people here. Okay, I made it to my daughter's meet. Hey, the one thing I forgot to mention is that the balloons fly all over town. Um, and as the years have gone by, it's been harder and harder to find places for the balloons to land. But it's really neat after the balloons take off to see where they land. And they have chase crews that go around in trucks with the trailer for the balloons that follow the balloons and try to chase them where they land and to help them pack up after they land. So that's all kind of the balloon fiesta lingo. So this is day two and I decided to get up. I left the house at 3.50 a.m. I got right in with absolutely no weight and I got a parking space here at the front of the parking lot. So definitely target 4 a.m. or a little before for entry to the Balloon Fiesta so that you don't get stuck in traffic. But there is this enormous crowd right at the main entry here at the main parking lot. 
And what I want to tell you is there are entry gates all the way around. And the one on the northern end of the field, um, there's another parking lot over there, but there was hardly anyone there. So you don't necessarily have to enter the park right where there's a huge crowd. So I'm going to actually rest in my car for just a little bit longer before I go into the park. But hopefully I'm here this morning for dawn patrol. We can see some of the early morning activities because it's beautiful. I finally made it on time. Do you see the crowd of people that are waiting to get in? Here's the entry to get tickets. Here's the metal detector entry. They are doing a bag search here and look at the people. I am gonna go walk back to the north entrance. Okay guys, you see the difference? Here is the north entrance. I don't think people realize you can get in here. There's nobody here. That is a pro tip. Okay, that was a huge success. North gate and 4 a.m. leave the house. So I'm feeling very excited, happy to be here. Um, we will see the glow first thing in the morning. We will see Dawn Patrol. We beat the crowds. I feel like a balloon fiesta pro. To get here early enough, there are plenty of shops, places to eat, and look at the difference in the crowd. In fact, it might pay off to come and visit some of these shops in the morning instead of waiting until everyone is here. They do have a few picnic tables throughout the field. Once it gets really full, not a chance really of seeing much, but if you want to come early and eat, there are a few places on the field, along with these little stand-up stations here to eat your food. One of the traditions here at the Balloon Fiesta is collecting the Balloon Fiesta pins. So I received one as part of my media package. Let's see. People come here years and years and years and uh, collect the pins from every year they've been at the Balloon Fiesta. And there used to be a guy that was on the news that had this big balloon hat and it's covered in Steve Stucker and it's covered in Balloon Fiesta pins. Those are some of the traditions here. And if you've never, if you're hungry and you're wondering what some of these terms are for New Mexican food, let me tell you about carne adovada. Carne adovada is pork that has been slow marinated with chili, typically red chili, until it just falls apart. And it is so incredibly delicious and it's really good inside of burritos and with eggs. The other thing you may see and not be aware of is a chili relleno. That is a full hatch green chili and it is battered and dipped in, um, yeah, like eggs and batter and then it's stuffed with cheese. Incredibly delicious as well. So make sure you try some of those. And the other thing to note is that in New Mexico, you can get green chili on absolutely everything. Green chili on pizza, green chili on your McDonald's hamburgers. They have it at every restaurant and you can put it on pretty much everything you eat. So make sure you try our hatch green chili native to the state of New Mexico. Oh my gosh, there's Steve Tucker. I was talking about him. The big balloon hat. Let's see, he's in here. He's in his van right now. There he is, let's see. There he is. There he is, Steve Stucker, hi! How's it going? I was just talking about you. Uh-oh. I am Lisa with Swifty Travels, and you are a Balloon Fiesta, just staple. <laughs> I'm glad to see, where's all your pins? Oh, they're on my other hat. On see, the this other is, hat. This is my uh, 25th anniversary hat that they gave me. <laughs> for my 25th year out here. This is 33 or 34. Uh, but uh, you, you can see they, they inscribed it and everything. And this is a little bigger than the other one. Well, it's so nice to see you. I'm a huge fan. Thank you, enjoy so, your day. Yes, thank you. And th I did a bad job with my camera. My camera was all out of focus. But that was Steve Stucker. He put on the, he put on the pin hat. I'm super lucky to catch him right before he, whoops. I've got my pen hat on, and you know, I I wanted to let you know. 
Here's the New Mexico State Police place. You know what you do here at Tag Your Tots? So here at Tag Your Tots in New Mexico State Police, what we're doing is we're tagging kids and we correlate the number that's on the tag to the information that we have for contact information for the parents. Okay. So if you lose your kids here at Balloon Fiesta, you can come here or you can find, can you just go talk to any, any police state officer? Any police officer, if the child makes contact with the state police officer, then what we can do is they'll bring them over here to the tent and then we'll go ahead and call the parents and reunite them. So tell your kids after you put a band on them, to, if they get lost, they can look for a police officer Absolutely, for help. Yes. Thank you so much. Blake's Lotta Burger is another local fast food restaurant. Absolutely delicious breakfast burritos and green chili cheeseburgers. As you can see by the line, this is a super popular place. The temperature always drops right on the field right about dawn. So we are still waiting for the first balloons to go up and check the weather conditions. It's just got a little bit chillier outside. Very first all bird of the morning. Let's go at 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All burned on the drive. That's pretty. gave the green flag. The first set of balloons have gone up and now they're starting to light up. The sun is coming up over the mountains. If you look behind me. Well, I'll have to show you there's a beautiful, it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise here in a few minutes. So they lay out the balloons and everyone kind of surrounds the balloons before they inflate. Be part of the liftoff party for each individual balloonist. right now.
might have to get out of the way. Depending on which direction they're going. They're everywhere. Balloons, balloons, they're everywhere. So there are lots of people like on blankets, on the grass, and it is really, really wet today. I think we've had a fair amount of moisture, but just want to let you know that the grass is wet, and in some areas it was crazy muddy. I even saw a truck, like a balloon crew truck, get stuck in the mud. So this year they have some remote control balloons, I think is new, and I'm going to see if I can find them here. That's something new to the Fiesta, so I'm kind of interested in that. The crowd has dissipated. Oh, there's the zebra crew. So this must be the remote control balloons because look how small they are. And there's a whole row of them here. I wonder when they fly. So this is indeed the first year for the remote control balloons and I just talked to the guy behind me. Um, they can fly them right now but it's a little too windy so they're waiting it out to see if the winds will die down and then they'll fly the remote control balloons. Breezes might be picking up. So a lot of the balloons are coming in to land. They go up, they fly around and then they come back around and land back to Balloon Fiesta Field. I just caught this one behind me. There it is. It just landed. There's less and less places in the city now um, to land. Back when I was a child, they used to land in people's backyards and at your neighborhood park and they'd be all over the city. And things have become quite a bit more difficult to navigate around the city. So there's a little less balloons now than there was back in the 80s. Seems like I remember in the 80s and early 90s like around a thousand balloons lifting up. Now they've restricted it to 600 and I think this year is a little less because the international travelers weren't necessarily, some people with COVID restrictions maybe weren't able to come out. But it was still fantastically gorgeous today. The chainsaw competitions have begun. You can find them in tents at the very north end of the field. So I'm gonna go take a quick look before I head out of here so you can see what they're doing over there. I can hear the chainsaws going now. One last stop before I leave, I'm gonna go inside the artisan's tent here on the northeast corner of the field. Um, I'm not a huge shopper, but they've got some really, really cool stuff here, and it might be a good idea to do a little Christmas shopping um, here at the Fiesta. So I'm gonna go see what they've got.
They had some amazing jewelry in there. I really like those little copper fire pit things and those decorations, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna come back later in the week and I'm sure my daughter will wanna do some shopping. All right, this time I mean it. I'm leaving on day two. Thanks for watching. And if you could give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Thumbs up for the balloon fiesta. And uh, if you want more action from Albuquerque, New Mexico and from my travels around the United States and the world, please subscribe to Swifty Travels. Thank you.